Don't go and do something because of TikTok, luxury, apartment aesthetics. Your landlord is staying in that compound, but agent is pressuring you to pay for that location. Mm -mm, wrong. Hey babes, welcome back to the channel of Yoni. Hi, it's Jane Derry. I am a creator currently in Port Harcourt River State, Nigeria. Please don't make it your last. Subscribe, like, comment, and share. And if you're returning, babe, hey babe, how far how are you doing? So in this video, I want to be sharing the things that you need to do before you pay for the apartment. So come closer. Come. Come. Not too close, please. But yeah, sit down. If you need pen and paper, write. So let's start. So I really wanted to like do my makeup, but it's not even your business. And I'm not going to like explain what I'm doing. But yeah, number one, be very specific of what you want. Because if you don't know what you want, these people might change it. I'm talking about the agent. I'm talking about the landlord. For example, do you want a duplex? Do you want a one bedroom self-contained? Do you want an open kitchen? right you have to go online and look for pictures of something similar like what you want for example me i really love a kitchen that has like a wide background i like a nice um bathroom that's going to give like the aesthetics because i'm a content creator right so you have to be sure what you really want for example i see pa um, pages posting duplex and when i get to the place it's just like a sitting room and a room duplex you're meant to climb upstairs come on now so be sure of what you want so my second point, I will not say this in no particular order, but I will say that you should go into the apartment before you pay and check for fast.com if the internet connection is good. Even in the neighborhood, around, like go outside, step outside, be sure. Because network is not a joke. You can be frustrated that you're inside your house and you cannot use the internet. Guy, even if you're not a content creator, uh -uh don't play okay so the next point is do you want to look for your apartment yourself you want an agent right now agents are taking from like before now 2k 5k 3k depending on the agent but right now we're hearing 8k 10k in Porta court i don't know where you are in nigeria please let me know in the comment section how much will you pay an agent for you to like do an inspection they say it's inspection fee right so and, and then after the inspection fee don't forget you have to pay agent fee for example if the house you're paying for is 500k you're going to give the agent 50k so ask yourself will you want to look for the apartment yourself or will you look for an agent right another um, trick you can do is you can go on gg and check for apartments but be very very careful be sure that what you have in mind is what they are showing you okay because this will can actually change your mind you understand for example if you show this let's say you whatsapp this person and say this is what i want and you send pictures of what you want they now carry because some of them are very tricky they will take you to somewhere else that is not exactly what you want to see and then ask you to pay for inspection fee. you're like no okay that's not what i told you that i want so you don't pay do you understand or if you're going to be the one to like look for your apartment then just be ready to just pay your boat or your transportation it's not that hard you have a location in your mind like i said be specific that's like my first point so when you go to these places now you just tell yourself oh if you're in portacourt oh i want to stay in ojari then you go to ojari area and ask the parent oh is there any vacancy and they will show you and then maybe they'll show you the person in charge of that apartment and yeah that's it so the next one i'm very sure that a lot of people will agree with me for this if the landlord and his family member are staying in that compound, my dear, he said, No, run, run, <laughs> run, don't even, don't even don't try, don't even try yourself, don't even try it. Hear me out. See, even if you want, you, you, you can actually stay where your landlord stays, but hear me out. For example, let's say your landlord is staying in that compound, but it has another gate maybe staying like, let's say it's compound like this and then the person is staying the other side and you're staying here or it's in the same apartment but the landlord goes through another gate and you go through another gate you get because it's going to not going to be funny that you're coming back late see there are some nice landlord though but it's not even up to how many percent so think about it so the next thing is that before you pay for an apartment i would really like you to go around and ask more questions about the location try to get some vital information about those places 
before you pay. The next thing on my list is check your prepaid meter. For example, if the place is where it doesn't have prepaid, but right now in Botaco, there are lots of houses with prepaid meter. Be sure if this prepaid meter is in debt. I know someone that went to an apartment that paid 250k and still the debt is still there, right? Like right now, where I am right now, if I want to leave now, my prepaid is still green. So be sure that it's green. Be sure that it's not like make get information about that prepaid meter honestly before you pay speaking about the prepaid meter we're talking about the electricity right of that location ask yourself is there because see when you go online to check for apartment they'll tell you 24 hours light steady light made a no life for you no be born in this day this is what i call i don't know there are places in lagos that actually have 24 hours like but right now in what you can hear 18 hours you can hear 15 hours be sure and then there are places that have not even seen light in two years. So be sure that there is light in that place, like there is light in that location. Now, something else, you want to pay for house. And then they're not like, we want to set up this place, we want to change the wardrobe, we want to do this, we want to set up this thing. Make sure they set up these things before you pay. Some of them will tell you, um, don't worry, when you pay the money, give us two weeks or three weeks. There was an apartment I was going to pay for before I got here. They were like, I should pay them two years for them to like set up the place before I'm moving. <laughs> you go cry. Like, you know, it's in, you go suffer, suffer, tire. Now that one, eh? Because even one of my friends just got an apartment recently and they were like, oh, we want to set up the wardrobe. We want to do the door. She was calling landlord. But landlord will be shouting for her. They have to like renovate the place. They have to like paint. They have to do this one. They have to do that one. Like, Plenty, plenty things. So for me, I will tell you to actually make sure they set up all these things and do it, put it in place before you pay. The bad guy said that you should ask questions. I want to throw more light on that. You can ask your co-tenant questions. I know that some people might be weird. They might not answer you, but ask questions. Shall ask co-tenant, ask people around the area. Is that place flooded when it's rainy season? I also advise that you look for an apartment when it's rainy season because some places can look so fine when it is raining when it's not raining like dry season december period everywhere is like dry but rain season is easier for you to know like your stance if the place is flooded and all that so you ask questions like oh do you guys pay for um nepa bill if there is no prepaid right is it 1k is it 2k so you plan yourself um is the place paying for security fee is there any other extra charges after my rent i'm going to pay because you need to be sure of all these things now i know that god secures or god protects us right but you have to be sure if there is security in that area is that place secured then if it is an unsafe place i will not advise you to stay on the ground floor one of the questions i will, I will advise you to ask a co-tenant is with the information that you have gotten about this place would you like your sister or your siblings to live here do you understand and then if you're someone that likes dog do you do they accept pets right like i've been thinking of how to like bring my dog here but i'm trying to be careful though i've actually seen some people with dogs i want to be careful in a way where it will not cause problem do you understand i did not ask the question before so that's one thing i said you should no something my babies i will really tell you to do is like check for ventilations we need windows like two windows especially as i am a content creator right i need lighting when creating content and then also when there is no light so that you know go there miserable my sister you will be miserable heat and recently the kind of heat that we have been going through but see now see breeze breeze is blowing me there's no light but breeze they blow me yes another um thing on my list if the agent is pressuring you to pay for that location mm -mm, run don't because why are you rushing me to pay why am i the only one that is checking the apartment See, I don't know, but another thing is that you should actually pray. I don't know what you believe in. I believe in God. Pray. Tell God to direct you before you go and pay for somewhere that you regret. So when someone is pressuring you, pay, 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 pay. Be very, very careful. Something else I want you to check out for is stay around that neighborhood and check how many, like how frequent buses, keke, bike, I don't know where you stay, is going to pass through or how fast you can get to the main road. Do you understand? right yes so yeah that's something i want to do check out for something else if you 
the apartment you're staying and the water tank is above your building please confirm if the water is going to come down to your house so that you not build all this um is it more like be more cold, something something start looking somehow and then when it's it, the water start coming you know for paint it starts spoiling yeah so be very sure of that okay so something else you need to look out for is the location i know you're already you're specific from the you are specific from the beginning about where you want now location is very important would you want to stay far from your workplace no for example in port Harcourt now jerry is like the middle or like the center of entire port Harcourt, and it's quite very very expensive right so for example ajib is closer to jerry so that's like almost the middle would you want to be working at my three for those are in port Harcourt, and then you have the igrita it's far do you understand you need to be sure of your location so and then the amount of transportation calculate how much is my transportation from this place to this place yeah okay, so check if there's any canal in the area where you want to stay i know some of the agents will try to like convince you what ego smear ego smear do you understand so be sure of what this is before you pay for that location so if the rent of that place you can be able to pay for it before the due date for example if you you have the money now to pay right now and then before next year you don't have the money to pay for it for the due time then leave it you can stay in your family house it's still fine to stay in your house you get mm -hmm. so you have to consider your long-term plans when you're getting this apartment for example um where i am right now is small for me and i feel like i need somewhere bigger so be sure is this thing going to be okay with your lifestyle in the long term your career family size all this has to be put into consideration next one is you have to go through the contract very well look at the terms and conditions before you go and sign what to put inside trouble honestly if you don't understand look for a lawyer maybe your friend is a lawyer or look for a lawyer that will go through the conditions the terms before you put your signature on it don't go and do something because of tiktok luxury apartment aesthetics because you want to do get with me you want to do get ready with me all those stuff you know go and pay for very very expensive apartment because you want to have these aesthetics and everything no no now hear me out if you're three to four months for me i was thinking maybe six months three to six months salary cannot pay your rent then please that apartment is not for you instead of you to be looking at aesthetics and then get into a situation where you will not get embarrassed or like someone not evict you out of the apartment then mm -mm. no don't don't do that so i'm finally done with all my with all my points so if you have more points you can leave it in the comments thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe if you haven't like comment i already said you should comment yeah tell me more like if you have more points that you wanted me to talk about and yeah i will see you in my next one ciao